We're going to demonstrate OCD repair of the medial femoral condyle as well as anti-grade drilling. You can see here the medial femoral condyle and the OCD lesion that was unstable. We use a bank card elevator to start elevating off the lesion, working on the more medial aspect, leaving a small hinge towards the notch in order for us to elevate the fragment and clean it. You see here us using a 4.5 shaver to clean the rim of the OCD lesion, allowing for better visualization into the area. In addition, we keep this hinge as it allows for easier fixation later on. You can see here looking around the corner, the sclerotic area, essentially a non-union at the site. We initially debride with the shaver throughout the rim to allow for excellent circumferential compression. Following this, we get a curved curette and clean out the scarred tissue. As you can see, we have a passport cannula in that allows for ease of passing of instruments. We clean the entire rim. Again, care is taken not to damage the medial hinge as it would make it much more difficult to repair the OCD lesion if this hinge were to break off. Again, making sure we can see the entire circumferential area of the OCD lesion and we use this ring curette throughout the entire area. Following this, we place the shaver back into the joint. And this is used to, uh, to clean any of the remaining loose pieces. Following this, we use a power pick to make small microfracture holes. This tool allows us to not only hold the hinge open, but to make appropriately symmetric holes throughout the base of the lesion. This improves overall healing. Again, you can see here we're trying to get the entire base of the OCD. You can also see we've maintained the medial hinge. Following this, we use a probe to demonstrate the reduction of the OCD lesion. Again, there will be a slight sinking of the lesion when you put the fixation in and this is normal. You can see here through a separate trans patellar portal we place percutaneous spinal needle. Following this we use a threaded arthrex cannula system. We use the probe to hold it down. We put the passport back in but remove the medial portion of the passport that allows us to place the wires. Again we use the cannulated measurement system to dilate the transpatellar portal and this prevents any soft tissue impingement. As you can see the first wire is in and we use this guide system to place the second wire in standard fashion. We will use two screws here. Again our goal is to penetrate roughly 22 to 26 millimeters in depth on the OCD. As you can see here, we're dilating again on the superior wire to ease drilling and entry of the screw. We also dilate the inferior wire as well. Entering the drill, we drill roughly 12 millimeters in depth just to pop the far cortex and again keeping counter pressure with the dilator. We remove this on oscillation is to not pull out the wire. Following this we place a 2.5 millimeter arthrex headless screw. This gives us adequate compression without concern for any outcropping of the head during range of motion. We will still do non-weight bearing for 
six to eight weeks after this, but we allow full range of motion and this prevents any cartilage damage. As you can see, there's significant compression of the fragment. With the screw, we bury the head roughly two millimeters in depth. After completion of the first screw, we progress again, drilling 12 millimeters into the subchondral bone, similar to our superior screw. Again, oscillate is performed to avoid removal of the wire. We place a 26 millimeter, 2.5 headless Arthrex metal compression screw Again, care is taken to avoid pulling soft tissues into the wound with this method. We bury this again two millimeters below the surface. As you can see here, we probe to make sure there's no palpable screw heads. Furthermore, you can see the compression of the fragment and that this is not moving on palpation. Finally, we turn our attention to this small lateral femoral condyle OCD, as you can see here. It's the concavity rather than the convexity seen on the medial femoral condyle. We use 0 0.045 Kushner wires with the Arthrex cannulated measurement system to allow us to accurately place the wires without issues. We drill roughly 1.5 centimeters in depth past the OCD lesion. We do anti-grade drilling in this situation as it allows for further accuracy as this lesion is not visible on x-ray and only on MRI. Again, data has demonstrated good healing in this type of surgical procedure with roughly 80 to 85% success. We generally replace between six to eight anti-grade drill holes with these wires. And when we go back to remove the screws in the medial condyle OCD lesion, we will evaluate the overall healing of this lesion as well. As you can also see, we have switched the passport cannulas to allow for easy entry into this lesion.